Another shooting exhibition today and my 12 gauges are running very nicely. But today I'm going to treat myself to a Benelli 20 gauge show. Benelli has the widest selection of 20 gauge semi-automatics. And uh, let's see what I have to work with today. We have the Montefeltro 20, very lightweight. We have the Duca di Montefeltro 20, a little more fancy, similar gun. The workhorse of the force, the M1 20 gauge. Oh, what do we have here? These must be special. Oh, the Montefeltro Beccaccia 20. This is the lightest weight gun of them all. And when you're an exhibition shooter, it's like every day is your birthday. What's in here? Oh, we got the Raffaello 20 slug. This I'm going to have a lot of fun with today. And the last one, what is it? It is the Raffaello Creo 20. It looks to me like I'm going to have a really good show today. Welcome to my Benelli kitchen. I have enough produce here to make a big Benelli salad for you. But most importantly, I have some special Benelli kitchen tools. For example, the Montefeltro 20 gauge. The Montefeltro 20 gauge can make salad in a hurry. Chopping lettuce very quickly, very easily. It makes good lettuce. Here we are. When adding egg to the salad, it makes it very light. And for this, I use a special Benelli kitchen tool. It's the lightest of them all. It's the Benelli Bicaccia. Weighing in at less than two and a half kilo, it really whips up the eggs nicely. Mmm. Very good stuff. Benelli salad. Try it. You'll like it. When shooting the Benelli Raffaello 20 slug, it's important that you begin by sighting the gun in to make sure you can uh, find the right position for the sights. I'm going to shoot one shot at that target to make sure the Benelli Raffaello 20 is shooting in the right spot. Oh. <laughs> Uh, looks like I will not have to adjust my front sight. Everything is okay. When you find yourself in front of five angry wild boar, you need the Raffaello 20 slug to solve your problem. You can see my five angry wild boar behind me. <laughs> With the Raffaello 20 slug, you have no problem. The 20 gauge slug can be just as effective as a 12 gauge. Back in the Benelli kitchen today and I'm going to make you a cold salad. Why a cold salad? Because I'm using the Raffaello Creo 20. It has a cold treated barrel, cryogenically treated. Well I'm going to start out by making a little Benelli salad. We got to put some onions in there with the Raffaello Creo 20. If you're going to have a Benelli salad, you might as well have a Benelli barbecue. And at my house, I make a Benelli barbecue with coal. I'm going to grind this coal into little tiny pieces to have a nice even fire. And for this, I'm going to use the Benelli M1 20 gauge. I'll put that piece of coal right there and off of the gun. We'll put another one and maybe two of them on there. Two of them off of the gun. And now let's try three of them. One, two, and three coming off of the Benelli coal grinding machine. 
<laughs> All of the 20 gauge Benelli models are very easy to handle and they keep you on target. You know, Benelli's got me running all over the place all the time. So once in a while, I like to take a little break, take a vacation, play a little Benelli golf. With my M120, I can play golf. I'm not always in the center. Sometimes I make a mistake and slice one to the right. Way off to the right. And the opposite mistake would be a hook to the left. But once in a while, I can hit him right in the center, right down the middle, and drive him straight away. If you want to have some fun, play a little Benelli Golf with your M120. You know, a lot of people think that the 20 gauges are smaller and more challenging than the 12s. Well, I know all about the Benelli 12s, but I happen to have the idea that with the Benelli 20 gauges and choosing the correct cartridge, you can get a load that's quite similar to a 12 gauge. I'm going to try and uh, match my 12 gauge semi-automatic record with this little Benelli M120. We'll see if it's challenging or not. The 20 gauge can break nine targets just as good as the 12 gauge. This is Tom Knapp saying, Mio saluto all'Italia. <laughs> and grazie.